Hello, everybody. Um, okay, here it is. My number one question I get asked by everybody is, how do you get those apps? Okay, well, I first want to address my diet. I have a very clean diet. I am vegan, which if you don't know what that means, it means that I refrain from eating meat, um, poultry, fish, dairy, and um, eggs. So most of my diet consists of um, soy protein and um, um, whole grains and fruits and vegetables. So I have a very clean, healthy diet. So as far as exercise goes, I am an avid practice practitioner of yoga and Pilates and I teach yoga and Pilates. My main two ab exercises I use in my classes, especially my yoga classes, what they do is that they get you ready for Navasana, which is boat posture. And uh, boat posture is quite difficult, especially if you do not have strong abdominal muscles. So I'm gonna go through the two exercises I use in class. And you know, hopefully it will shed a little bit of light on this. So first, I wanna address, and hopefully you'll be able to see because I have to just set that up on a, I have the camera set up on a bunch of yoga blocks on my phone. Um, when you're down on your forearms, in this next posture I'm gonna show you, you wanna make sure that when you move your hips in, kind of like you think like you have two handles here you're rolling in squeezing the abdominals and releasing it's just a small movement okay so some people just get carried away and their butts go up and down in the air and that's not going to help you so you want just a little squeeze and release so with that said we'll go ahead and do some so your first stage is I hope you can see this but I have my knees down and I'm on my forearms Stage two, if you want a little more of a challenge, you're on the balls of your feet and the forearms, okay? So what you do is you pull in and release. Two, release. Don't forget to breathe, release. Four, release. Five, release. Six, release. Seven, release. Eight, release and nine, release, and 10. Hold or pulse, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release the hips down, relax the feet. Either coming into half cobra, shoulders away from the ears, or a full cobra. What that does, that stretches out the abdominal area. Okay, so you're gonna come down yourself up and then you're going to come into a supine position on your <clears throat> excuse me on your back or on your spine and come down to here now there's a couple ways I do this you can either use a block the block makes it a little more challenging or you don't use a block if you're not using a block you start here arms in close to the body you're going to take your legs to about a 45 breathe and hold and a little lower and low as you can, maintaining good form. And then you pull up. Now, if you're using the block, you'll be squeezing with your inner thighs, so you engage other muscles as well, okay? And then you go down, 45, hold. Down. And down. And up. Down, down, and up, and down, 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 up, let's do one more, down, 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 and up, release the block, knees into the chest, Way left and right. And come up. And I'm hoping that helped a little bit. Um, I'm a little awkward doing this, but uh, some of you may have not seen photographs of my abs, so I might as well just show you. <clears throat> so I'll just go ahead and flex like that. Then you can see my abdominal muscles. And hopefully nobody's walking by right now. <laughs> go ahead and release. Thank you, everybody. 
I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.